Hello everyone, welcome back to Join for Tech YouTube channel. My name is Emil Abimbola. Today's video will be taking you through how to carry out flood analysis using ArcGIS Pro. Flood analysis is a process of assessing and evaluating the risk and impacts of flooding on a specific area or region. Flood analysis helps us to understand flood risks and vulnerabilities, develop flood prevention and mitigation strategies, inform urban planning and development decisions, support emergency preparedness and response, guide flood insurance and risk assessments. For this analysis, our area of interest is Lagos State, Nigeria, and we'll be making use of seven variables, which are our land is land cover, drainage density, distance to road, distance to river, slope and slope rainfall and elevation. Each variables have their their assigned weight given that LELC is 0.1 has a weight of 0.1, drainage density has a weight of 0.15, distance to road has a weight of 0.05, distance to river a weight of 0.20, slope a weight of 0.1, Rainfall 0.25, elevation 0.15. Then we are going to be making use of the geoprocessing tool, which is the weighted sum. Lest I forget, the sum total of the weights of each weight of our variables should give us a total of one. So moving on, this is our elevation. Sorry. This is this is our elevation. This is our slope. Slope. Distance from road. Distance from river. Sorry. Drainage density. Land use land cover, our area of interest, the DEN, and our rainfall. So, this is how then this should be our final results after. Our analysis. So our, our final result should look like this. Should look something like this. Something like this. So okay. So moving on. Before we continue, I'd love to show us how to get our distance from river and distance. Road. Distance from river and distance distance from road. So to get these two variables, we are going to make use of our Euclidean distance to. This Euclidean distance to is a special analyst geoprocessing to. So let's search for Euclidean distance. Euclidean distance a special distance too. so here yeah, I'm going to be making use of our uh, of our uh, river shape file for distance to river then while that of distance to we are going to be making use of our uh, road shape file so let's see Back to the map. This is our red shape file. Then we okay, still loading. Already clipped out our area of interest. Then 
this is a river ship file for our area of interest so we can activate the this so the two of them all together this is giving that the polygon uh, uh, distance so the uh, rivers while the lines are uh, roots so this is a root while the other one is a uh, river so moving on to get a distance to distance from root so you just from your gradient distance impute your root shape for, for your distance to root then this will be a distance from root we rename it distance from root so by the time you click on we have we have this though most times you still have to clip out your area of interest using your clip tool so yeah this is our distance from river then to get our distance to just change this input raster of feature source data from root to river then change your aspects to distance from river then you click run so on running you will get distance to river you get this you might also need to clip out your area of interest using the G processing tool called clip so moving on after getting our distance from road and distance to river, we can now move on with our flow bricks analysis. So moving, so to get this, we are going to be making use of the U processing tool known as weighted sum. So as you can see in our notes the processing tool we'll be using is the weighted sum so is the weighted sum so we have each sorry sorry so okay so now the first raster we're working with is a rainfall so the weight of our rainfall rainfall has a weight of 0 0.25 so impute it 0 0.25 add another the next is land use land cover a weight of 0 0.1 add another Drainage density, the weight of 0 0.15. Add another distance from river, the weight of 0 0.20. Add another. Distance from root, the weight of 0 0.05. Add another slope, a weight of 0 0.1. Then the last one, elevation, with the weight of. 0 0.15 so let's count to check if you are correct and check for errors also so we can move on okay so moving on 
the first is rainfall 0.25 correct land is land cover 0.1 correct drainage density 0.15 correct distance from river 0.20 correct distance from road 0.05 correct slope 0.1 and elevation 0.1 so we have one two three four five six seven so then you click run so on running okay before you click run you rename your heart piece raster from this slash okay. so you rename it flood risk flood risk map so we run So on running, we got this. So to interpret this, we are going to be using her reclassify, which is also a geoprocessing tool. Reclassify. This will reclassify to help us reclassify our raster. So the raster we are trying to reclassify here is our flow rate map. So we are going to be using. So we are using five bricks to represent our uh, low, no, very low, low, medium, then high and very high. So let's do that here. Classify, okay. So one represents very low, two represents low, three represents medium, four represents high, and five represents very high. So you can call this a class flood risk map. So we can run. Now it has been done, then we can Add symbology. So uh, map. Okay, so I'm going to be using green to represent the lowest risk. represents the low risk then we use deep greens represents the low risk moderate we use yellow to represent yellow mm. sorry moderate risk then we can use This represents sorry orange represents a high risk and the head is orange dust represents a high risk then red to represent a very high risk All changes are we need.
That is it. So from here now, it can be seen that those with light green colors have very low tendency to be flooded. So they have very low flood rates. While those with a deep green color have a low flood rate, much more higher than that of the very low. Then that with a yellow color, those with a yellow color have moderate moderate tricks why that with orange yeah these parts have a high rate how that with very red color uh, of higher risk higher flow drinks so thank you for joining us today don't forget to like comment and subscribe for your questions you can you can drop your questions in the comments section thank you for having me i remain Emila Abimbola.